Hey folks, Rope Wars with here. It's 2.57 p.m. on August 25th, 2024 in downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 21 degrees outside and a part of the cloudy afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.7 kilometers, starting at Robson Square, then stroll northwest on Robson and Harrow, ending my trek by the bus stop at Demon and Barclay. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. For updates, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at jforestwin. And if you enjoy this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forsman here. Walking along Robson Street here on Robson and Burrard. And it looks like uh, we're gonna have to wait here and that all these other people finish up. Just the luck of the draw today, I guess. This will be the intersection of Robson and Burrard Street. Yeah, a lot of people on the other side today. I was over uh, just at Petapalooza doing a live stream and swing through uh, the Granville Lock Party too. Got to see that. One of the opening ceremonies where they do, uh, they have one of our local people come on in from uh, the indigenous community and uh, do their thing before we get started with the event. So you can go back and check that out too. And just checking out the event for the second day. Doing more of just a quick little walkthrough for you folks today. Uh, Petapalooza was the big event <laughs> I wanted to show. Now it's just absolutely off the hook uh, wackiness. Which is actually a good thing. It was a lot of fun. A lot of dogs too. <laughs> just a lot of dogs. We'll keep walking here. Of course, we're in the Robson Street Retail District, and because we crossed uh, Bright Street, we left it downtown, and we're now in the West End. But of course, when you talk about Coal Harbor, the West End, the downtown core, downtown east side, Chinatown, Yale Town, okay, as well as BC Place, it's all considered part of the downtown itself so in general you'll have local vancouverites refer to that as a downtown and you see that when you're watching different youtube videos as well online and uh for videos where people are showing you around but technically we're in the west end neighborhood right now Hey, you see people are out and about doing what they normally do on over here. A little bit of shopping <laughs> and a little bit of walking. Where you'll find Zara, of course, out on the street. With a retail storefront rather than in the mall. Brown shoes as well out here on a retail storefront instead of in the mall. <laughs> That's something you'll see a lot of other big cities post, particularly here in Vancouver. So of course we have a nicer climate over here. As some people would say, not everyone would agree that Vancouver has a nicer climate. Some people would say Vancouver is often on the cooler side. <laughs> it never gets warm enough. Oh, fair enough. You'll hear that from Torontonians from time to time, as well as other people from the southern Ontario area. It's like we have to stop here. Hey, nice to see you. This is the intersection of Thurlow Street and Robson Street. Just 
wait for the lights to change. Like we got one of our interesting characters over here off camera right now. Oh, that's definitely an interesting character. And that person is not poor. <laughs> They're just being really demandative. <laughs> Maybe they're demandative for a good reason. Maybe they're demandative for not a good reason. Who knows? I'm going to stay out of it. <laughs> continue walking here along Robson Street. Housing RH is at. And this is where the retail shops for clothing start to fade away. They continue for a bit longer, but this is where the restaurants start to pick up. Different cafes and other places. And they're not just down below, they're up above too. So don't just check the first floor, check the second floor. Sometimes you'll have some interesting places hiding up above too. I'll consult you when the walking here. Looks like a nurse getting in her steps, taking a break from the hospital. You'll see that quite often when the weather's nice. Both over here in the West End with the St. Paul's Hospital. You also see that over with you're over by Vancouver General. And you'll also see it over in UBC. You'll see nurses and Doctors taking breaks, of course, uh, from the hospital that's on the UBC campus. When the weather is good, just going for a short stroll. Stretching their legs. Getting out of their place of work. <laughs> Butte Street. Wow, it is. Uh, it is busy, and we won't have too many more days of this busyness. So definitely something to come and check out. And busyness will start to disappear as the rainy season starts to set in. They're just finishing up some construction over here right now. Not quite sure what else they're going to do here. I think they're actually storing the pipes over there. They're doing the work along here, all the way from down there, all the way on over to the start of the hotel here. And that would be the blue hotel. You can see it's got its blue on the exterior. And that would be, uh, I believe, Hotel Blue Horizon. You can double check online. We're over here at the intersection of Butte and Robson Street, or Robson and Butte. <laughs> yeah, there's the hotel right there. Hotel Blue Horizon. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> cool. Keep walking here.
Keep walking over here. You got the Hello Kitty Cafe. Very pop. Oh my gosh, look at that place. That place is packed. There's lots of people in there. So they used to have lineups that would go all the way down here to this bus shelter. That's not happening anymore. <laughs> so it has calmed down a bit. But it was quite the novelty for a couple of weeks down here. Here's the hop on, hop off bus. And you can ride for free all over the city. Definitely something to check out if you are in the neighborhood. Head this way on. in Jervis Street and dipping into a bit of the shade here. I'll head down Harrow in a minute. Show you some of the residential area down here. And I can finish up over at the Barclay bus stop. Jump on the number six and uh, go back home, relax. Got some floors to clean. <laughs> I told us if I'm gonna go film Papa Palooza, or actually it's Petapalooza. I always call it Papa Palooza, so that's just me. But Petapalooza, and swing through the block party. And then I'm gonna finish my live stream, and just uh, maybe make a few more videos, and then just wrap it up and come on home. He was like, "That's cool." I get to do my thing at that point then. That's when he gets the TV to himself and he can play some of his favorite music and stuff like that. Yeah, instead of us always watching something together. <laughs> Let's turn here and we'll walk down here. So we're crossing Jervis, and we'll stroll down Harrow Street here on the shady side for you. And you can see, even though it is a much quieter neighborhood, and there's different apartment buildings and stuff down here, you can still see there's like people out and about doing whatever they need to do, tending to their daily lives. So, this is one of the most densely populated areas, the West End, in all of uh, Canada. The largest high-rise community in Canada, of course, is St. Jamestown in Toronto, but it doesn't have near anywhere near the amount of towers that are over here in the West End. And they're all cramped together, close together, so... It's not like, uh, it's not like uh, on the series of towers over there in St. Jamestown. Keep walking here. There are a few single family dwelling homes still in the area. Some are used as offices, some are apartment buildings. And uh, very rarely you'll still have a single family dwelling home owner actually living in the home. And a lot of times it has been passed down from generation to generation if that is the circumstance. Crossing Brialton Street, and we'll continue on Harrow. Up ahead of us will be in Nicola. Over here in this area, behind these houses is actually Heritage Square Park that's inside of this little nexus of homes on over here. 
Again, single family dwelling homes. I think these ones are part of a co op. And then over here, there's more playgrounds. There's an adult playground. Looks like kids are on the adult playground. That's fine. Kids are allowed to play on the adult playground. But I'll keep the camera off of the adult playground right now. <laughs> because that, let kids be kids. <laughs> there's an adult playground there, which is just like adult sized apparatuses where people can do exercises or just have some fun. Sometimes adults like to swing from monkey bars too. <laughs> Just waiting for the car. Across the street, crossing Nicola. We'll continue down Harrow Street here. Looks like there's some openings down here right now. So uh, 1501 Harrow Street here across the way. We have a now leasing sign. So there are some spaces. There are a few students that we've seen even over at UBC right now, scrambling. <laughs> Looks like it's their first year to get an apartment and they thought they'd be able to come to uh, <laughs> Vancouver <laughs> and just be able to snap off a place. Ah, oh, it won't be hard. <laughs> This time of year, it's a little harder because you do have the student community coming back. And a lot of the students have already scooped up their place at the start of August, not the end of August. Sometimes even earlier in July. And some students do enjoy living down here as well in the West End. And the number of apartment buildings makes it relatively easy to get a place here. Usually they're splitting it between two or three people though, just to make sure they cover the rent. Of course, I'm sure that for some of them, they work very hard to make that money. It's bartenders, or they may have an office job already, who knows? And then other students, well, <laughs> the bank of mom and dad. <laughs> I was never one of those people. <laughs> I was uh, working the whole time. And moves from one very different industry to another very different industry. <laughs> so, that's just how life is. I'm almost down here at the west end. Where things start to flatten out here along Harrow Street. I'm gonna pass the local school over here by Laurentian Towers. As well as the, this is also where you're gonna find the hockey arena. Here's the entrance to Sunset Towers right on over here. And you see some folks sitting out there having their cigarette, maybe drinking their coffee, catching up with their neighbors. by Bidwell now, so this would be Harrow Street and Bidwell. Yeah. Of course, if you head down Bidwell Street here, 
This is where you're going to find the Aria Market. There's a bit of a home hardware store down there. Tiny little place though. Um, right next to the Aria Market. And then there's also a Momo Hut down there too. And you get some nice tasty Momos. And then if you go a little bit further, you'll be over on Robson Street. Near the Robson and uh, Denman intersection. So lots of different food over there. There's a liquor store down there. CIBC Bank as well as Safeway. And there's also the Terra Latina or Terra Latin uh, grocery store there too. Where you can pick up lots of different stuff, including like pupusas. <laughs> Just heat them up, of course, in your uh, pan. Enjoy some pupusas. Very cool. You got other things too. Like frozen empanadas that you can heat up as well. Closest thing you're gonna get to a Jamaican patty here in Vancouver. Except for the very few places they make Jamaican patties and they do them well. Elbows would be one of them. We found them yesterday at the Black Block Party. They're over on, uh, over near Clark Street on East Georgia and you got to call in advance um, they're by appointment only it's a small little business just getting started I can see that business blowing up though his Jamaican patties are awesome I think it's like Chris Borland or something like that is his name the the owner of the business oh so good Borland with a B-O-R-E and then land nice guy too and then of course you can go to uh, Rhythm and Spice and the other place would be the Rise Up Cafe. All over there, in and around the Granville Woodland neighborhood. So it looks like I need to wait here, so fair enough. It's the car's turn. You guys just groove into his music. <laughs> Aggressive hip hop. <laughs> That's cool. This is Denman Street and Harrow Street here. It's a nice little restaurant at the end of this little strip here called uh, Dan Dan Noodle House. It's pretty good. They got some hot pot in there too. Looks like hot pot's their specialty. They got Dan Dan Noodles too. Absolutely tasty. Interesting. Interesting take. And Toronto Dan Dan Noodles are always with a, a peanut sauce. And uh, we've learned that that's not necessarily always the case. So. <laughs> Which is fascinating. You're <laughs> like, there's multiple types of Dan Dan noodles? Okay, this is cool. Kagan over here, where you can get some awesome, uh, you know, lamb racks, sheet kebabs, just kebabs in general. Stovall Lane here, and it's named after K. Stovall, who was a seniors activist. Activist. All of these lanes are named after someone in the neighborhood. So that's pretty cool, eh? Be the intersection of Barclay and Demon Street. Looks like we got the go ahead, so we'll cross the street here. Crossing Barclay. You can see uh, the Demon Market across the street, that's your local convenience store. And Joe's uh, Grill. Looks like they're shutting down for the day. Usually they do the morning and then they shut down their breakfast joint.
Anyways, folks, I'm gonna wait for the bus over here and then catch it up to the two and head on home. So thanks for coming. Just remember to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Have a good day.